Hi, I'm Frank. I'm the Chief Animation Officer here at Powerhouse Animation, and this is a pro tip about using extensions and commands with Flash. In order to work most efficiently in Flash, I like to use some of the free extensions and commands available at ajarproductions.com and toonmonkey.com. These two sites have the ones that I use the most. This is a character that I drew just for this tutorial, so the only thing that animates is the mouth. I've done a Powerhouse University video on animating dialogue in Flash, so I don't want to get too far into that here, other than to say that the extension FrameSync is very useful for changing instances of a symbol and really helps speed things up. FrameSync is free from Ajar Productions. What you do is make a second layer in your symbol and make a label for each frame. Since this is the mouth symbol, I'm labeling them closed, S, E, A, O, U, and so on. With the frame sync panel set to auto refresh and auto keyframe, I can scrub the dialog and change the instance of the mouth shape immediately. It's a huge time saver. You can use it for any symbol as long as you make a layer of frame labels. Uh, I got the rheumatiz in both arms. Just got a crick. Here's a walk I did for a different character. I'll use it to illustrate the next point. What I did here is take all the frames of the dialogue animation and put it into a head all symbol so that it can follow the movement of the body across the screen. I'll adjust the up and down movements later. I have the head all layer and the walk layer and set a classic motion tween of an approximate start and stop position. You can see that the feet slide a lot, so I'll use the command tween two keys to convert the motion tween to animation on twos. Now I turn on onion skinning and nudge the character over until the feet line up. I do this to the end of the scene. Now I just shift the heads until they align. Notice the closest arm is behind the head. Let's fix that. First, I duplicate the walk symbol, then I go into that duplicate symbol and delete all but the front arm layer. Next, I make a copy of the walk cycle on a layer above the head, and I use another useful command called multi-swap. You pick a series of frames and then highlight a replacement in the library and run the command. It swaps the symbol on the timeline for the new one. Notice that timing and placement is the same as the original symbol. Layer color allows you to select multiple layers and apply an outline color to all of them at once. I like to use it to make all the layers of a character the same color, one that stands out from the background and is easy to see if you're onion skinning. Coming from a traditional animation background, I like the way that timing chart mimics the kind of charts that we would draw on our key animation drawings so that the assistants would know how to space the in-betweens. You can set it for slow ins, slow outs, slow in and out, or set it to show one, two, three, or four frame increments and time it yourself. One really cool thing about it is that you can switch around the in-between frames to create a stagger effect. Uh, I got the rheumatiz in both arms. Just got a crick. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out more of our pro tips at powerhouseanimation.com.